Next up is Ola Mexico, an episode that was not released on video, but this time it was aired on Sprout. I'm kind of surprised they didn't release this on video. It's a really popular episode that I've heard about quite a lot, even before it aired on Sprout. Maybe it's because some of the kids wear the same clothes in the Barney intro when Barney comes to life. Mm. But yeah. So yeah. Lucy's sad because she missed her grandfather's birthday party in Mexico. Which, yeah, I'm not going to make any jokes about this. Because I'm a perfectly good person. Everyone's equal. All religions, uh, cultures, and races are are equal. That's perfectly... I'm not going to make any racist jokes or anything. But yeah. So yeah, they throw their own fiesta in the classroom and such. And yeah, it was good. I actually really liked this episode. I kind of wish it was released on video. I really wish it was released on DVD, but everyone wants it to be released on DVD. But yeah, it was a good episode. And I like the part where Lucy sings the I Love You song in Spanish, and then everyone sings, sings the song in English after that. But, like, she sings the wrong lyrics to the song. She sings the lyrics from the Campfire sing-along video instead of the ones from the Spanish version of the TV series. It's understandable, because the Spanish version of the series wasn't made until, like, 1994 or so, when Barney started airing outside of America. But, even with that, they still aired this episode on Sprout several times, long after even the series was cancelled. They aired this until 2011, of all things. But, yeah. Next up is Everyone is Special. I do have the video, but... It comes in a different case, and I'm not going to show you the tape because it has a similar label to the other Time Life video I showed you. This is actually the first Time Life video I ever had, and it was given to me by one of my teachers at elementary school. And, yeah. So, Min doesn't think she's special enough, so she pretends to be, like, a woman. She pretends to be grown up. So, yeah, it's a good episode. I like the ending part where they, of course, sing everyone's special. Yeah. I mean, what has, what do I have to say that hasn't been said about this episode yet? I mean, there's so much to say about it. I don't even know where to start. But, yeah. I really like this episode. And, yeah. I mean, yeah. I noticed though Barney and Baby Bop completely disappear during the second verse of the song, and yet they're still heard singing. I mean, Baby Bop is still... Actually, I saw the Hebrew version. It was just so freaky. In the original English version, they just sing the I Love You song, Barney just disappears, and then they see they turn back into a toy. And in the Hebrew version, Baby Bop is actually still on screen for most of the song. And then they just wave goodbye to Barney, and then they see him turn back into a toy. That was just so freaky, though. But, yeah. Next up. Oh, frick. I'm so not ready for this one. Neither are you. But I'm going to bash one of the Barney videos that a lot of you seem to like. The Barney direct video special that I know everyone loves. But I don't. I'm so sorry, but I don't, uh, Jesus. Hold on. This is freaking Barney's Magical Musical Adventure, and there's a reason why this case is completely damaged. <laughs> oh my god. It's because my sister and I messed this up. No, that's not even why. It's because I hated this video so much. I just hate this video so much. I mean, yeah. Hold on. So yeah, this is a... The... This video was released exclusively at JCPenney stores sometime in 1992, I think. But then it was released uh, worldwide or nationwide... 93 of January. And yeah, I just hate this video so much. 
It's the first Barney and Friends direct-to-video special. It originally started with Barney and Backyard Gang, which was a direct-to-video series. Then they made Barney and Friends TV series. But then they decided to do some Barney direct-to-video stuff again. And this was the first one they did. After this, though, they stopped doing direct-to-video specials. They mostly did clip shows. But then 1995 or so, they started making more direct-to-video stuff, which I guess is okay, but those direct-to-video specials we'll talk about another day. So, yeah, the the film takes place in Barney in Derek's backyard. I mean, it's better than the school, but it's his backyard, which just makes me think of Barney in the Backyard Gang, which traumatized me when I was little. Uh, the same set, though, is the same school set, just remodeled to look like a backyard. It literally is. That's what I heard. So, yeah, they want to go visit a castle, so they go through a magical forest... And meet one of the most scariest Barney characters ever that's not Barney or that creepy snowman. Twinkle the Elf. She's not even an elf! She's like tall. What do you think this is? That elf movie with... What's his name? Like, freaking dang it. Oh my god. But yeah. And then they visit the king who wants to go fishing... Go fishing! I hate that part so much. Uh, but yeah. So he leaves Barney to wear his crown. And they start singing stuff like Old King Cole and crap. And yeah. This version of I Am a Fine Musician is just the absolute worst. I'm sorry. Castle so high, I love, but it's way too catchy and gets stuck in your head. It reminds me a lot of growing in some sort of ways. This, which is what I only realized recently, but yeah, it's so shocking. Uh, what else? So yeah, they sing, they play freaking look through the windows background music. And I think in one scene you briefly hear the friendship song playing as background music as well. Wow, making me think of a better Barney video. That always makes me hungry for some bread. I hate that joke, though. No, seriously. I'd rather be watching Barney songs than this. This is probably one of the worst Barney videos I've ever seen. Granted, it's not the worst Barney video ever. It's not the worst Barney video. I actually enjoyed this a little bit, but it was still a pretty annoying. This was one of the first Barney videos I ever saw. And then immediately after that came Barney songs, coincidentally enough. <laughs> but yeah. I have to get a new copy though, which is Actimates compatible. But yeah. But yeah, apparently. And next up I'm going to talk about a CD released in 1992 or 93 called Barney's Favorites Volume 1. This one contains songs from various Barney uh, TV episodes. And no, it does not contain any songs from Magical Musical Adventure. Thank God. Try to look it up on here. I like the theme song they used in this video and the soundtrack. It just seems so weird, though. This, this one was actually so weird, though. Because it featured songs from Season 2, uh, which this was made before Season 2 even aired on TV, practically. And it was so freaky, though. And yeah. And I I remember listening to this when I was little, and I thought all the songs were from Season 1, though. Okay, except for Clean Up, because Clean Up song they used on here was different. I'm not going to go through all the songs on this album... But I will go through some of my favorites. The Ants Go Marching, taken from I Just Love Bugs. My Family's Just Right For Me, which is taken from Home Sweet Homes. It's actually kind of weird, though, that this song appears at the beginning of the album instead of, like, at the end. Even worse is a Spanish version. There's a Spanish version of this 
that has songs that aren't even on this uh, version. Like, If You're Happy and You Know It, which, by the way, comes at the very end of the episode, of the soundtrack. Some soundtracks would actually be on the English version of uh, Volume 2. So, yeah. And some uh, would be... Uh, some songs from the English version would be on the Spanish version of Volume 2 as well. Which is just weird. The I Love You song was also from, uh, apparently, from Season 2. It's very specifically from the episode Let's Pretend with Barney. Because in other episodes, the kids would sing along with Barney during the first verse. And when they did not, you'd hear, like, all these other people singing during the second verse. Like, uh, Tasha's parents singing it in one episode. But yeah, this is an okay album. I hope I get a copy for myself. Next up is the Season 2 episode, Falling for Autumn. And several things are different. Season 2 sucks. I just want to say that. I just want to make it loud and clear that I hate Season 2. But yeah. So, yeah, apparently, um... They're getting ready for a fall festival, because apparently, I don't know, some back-to-school thing they were doing for this season, and this season takes place in the fall, apparently. But, yeah. This one was so freaky, though. But the way Barney came to life was also pretty freaky, though. Uh, mostly because, um... You see his tail underneath the playset, and there's like a star twinkling just like when he winks at the camera at the end of every episode, and he just comes to life. I've seen a clip of Barney coming to life, but without the pink sparkles and such that show up when it does happen, but yeah, apparently. That was just so freaky, though, in my opinion. I mean, I saw this one on Sprout. I think... Season 2 had the most amount of episodes to air on Sprout. Maybe it's because Season 2 only had like 18 episodes. Rather than the usual 20. Hmm. So yeah, apparently. But yeah. I mean, this is an okay episode. I'm surprised they aired this episode though. Because it has both Apples and Bananas and Peanut Butter Song. Which are both copyright songs. That have not been used on the show since the mid-90s, practically. Sad but true. I can't believe they stopped using the peanut butter and jelly song, though. Like, is that really a copyrighted song? Maybe it's because some people are allergic to peanuts. I mean, you could at least sing the song and could have one of the kids saying they're allergic to peanuts before that. But yeah. I don't know. But yeah. It was a good episode. I was kind of freaked out when I first heard the I Like Autumn song. Because I thought that was only in like two episodes. Which was not this one. Practically. But yeah. Most of this part just had me talking about like freaking Magical Musical Adventure. I'm so sorry. But don't worry. Stay tuned tomorrow if I'm not busy.